Thank you. Um, so one actual follow-up and then a separate issue. I just want to be clear, there are congressional leaders who are being briefed on the Russia situation, but the president has still not been briefed on the situation? Look, this has been asked and answered. The president is briefed on verified intelligence. And how does he know, if he hasn't been briefed, how is he certain that Russia didn't put out these bounties? The president is briefed on verified intelligence. And again, I would just point you back to the absolutely irresponsible decision of The New York Times to falsely report that he was briefed on something that he, in fact, was not briefed on. Um, and I really think that it's time for The New York Times to step back and ask themselves why they've been wrong so wrong so often. The New York Times falsely claimed Paul Manafort asked for polling data to be passed along to Oleg, Oleg Deripaska before having to issue a correction. In June of 2017, the New York Times falsely wrote all 17 intel agencies had agreed on Russian interference before having to issue a correction that it was only four agencies. In 2017, February of that year, New York Times published a story claiming Trump campaign aides had repeated contacts with Russian intelligence, which even James Cohen Comey has said was almost entirely wrong, New York Times. New York Times published a column in March of 2019 by a former Times executive editor that asserted the Trump campaign in Russia had an overarching deal that the quit of help in the campaign against Hillary for the quo of a new pro-Russian foreign policy. That's what we call the Russia hoax, which was investigated for three years with taxpayer dollars before ultimately getting an exoneration in the Mueller report. It is inexcusable, the failed Russia reporting of the New York Times. And I think it's time that the New York Times and also the Washington Post hand back their Pulitzers. Why hasn't the president condemned white power, Kaylee? Why hasn't he condemned that tweet? 